So this is the tree, the walnut tree. And here you can see Jay's father built this drying rack for the walnuts. This is what a happy cat looks like in Vorarlberg. <laughs> back in Switzerland in my kitchen and I'm gonna do candied walnuts. So I'm gonna use 200 grams of uh, walnuts approximately and also 200 grams of sugar. I would have used brown sugar but I didn't have any at home adding a tablespoon of uh, cinnamon and also some vanilla sugar. And measuring like 125 milliliter of lukewarm water. beginning you can put up the heat because we want to dissolve the sugar in the water. gonna add the walnuts and from now on you can't leave the pan alone you have to keep uh, stirring because you don't want to burn anything at the beginning it's uh, very liquidy so it's not such a problem but once it starts to caramelize you must not leave the pan This is already on medium heat now, you only have a high temperature at the very beginning. Now you can see it's drying out and it's taking quite a long time, so you really have to be patient here. Don't you worry, this is what it should look like. So you might want to turn up the heat a little bit more again because the sugar needs to caramelize and you must really be careful not to burn it. I found this difficult myself because I'm still not used to this kind of hop, uh, having a gas hop in uh, England. So this is looking good, it's um, coated nicely and I have prepared a baking tray with some baking paper. Finally, 
spread them out on a baking tray and separate them. I wanted to show you it's important that you make sure that you don't have any shells left in the nuts when you actually get to stir them you will find a few bits and pieces and they will be nasty on your teeth. The smell in the flat was amazing. I think they are lovely gifts. One bag has gone already to my neighbors uh, Franz and Heidi.